A local organization is heading to Montgomery in a few days for the second time in recent weeks to peacefully protest regarding the conditions of Alabama's prisons. WDHN's Robert Smith has more on the story. We're in a crisis. We're in a human crisis right now. And, you know, this is a state of emergency. Pastor Kenneth Glasgow is referring to the poor living conditions and inhumane treatment of incarcerated people in Alabama correctional facilities. These are fathers, these are mothers, these are sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters who are being treated inhumanely by our own people. And, you know, anywhere else in the world, if it was animals, we would treat them better than that. Glasgow says prisoners are being neglected of food, medical treatment, and their 8th and 14th Amendments are being violated. And now they want to violate their First Amendment by bird feeding them, only feeding them enough portions of food that to sustain them enough to, to, to not die. You know, so this is why people are having rallies all across the country now. Over the past few weeks, there have been strikes in Alabama prisons and it's entering into its third week. Five of the state's 14 major correctional facilities are still experiencing work stoppages to protest the violence and conditions. You know, you got officers now that's walking off the job because they're scared to death because they say they're not getting treated any better. The Ordinary People's Society will be taking a buzz Friday morning to the state capitol in Montgomery for the second time in two weeks to join other protesters in speaking up for prisoners. To get the Department of Corrections as well as Governor Gay Ivey to not look at this as nonsense and not look at it like the, the demands are, uh, what she say, frivolous, uh, totally unnecessary. These are people. Reporting Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.